Okay, let's check out what Mithy said. Check it out. It hurts me to announce that C9 and I have parted ways. While the team failed to meet its expectations, I have nothing but love and respect for the organization and its players. It's been an exciting journey to be a part of C9 and feel the love and hate y'all bring as fans. He really hit us with the y'all. The Americanized y'all. Man, I know that it's... How long was Mithy at, at C9? Actually, before, before I say what I was going to say, I need to figure out how long was he at C9? He was at C9 for about a year. Um from 2020 to 2021 then he was at 100 thieves for a year and then he was at c9 for a year and a half after that so man he spent a lot of time there um i guess two and a half years total is not that long but i'm, I'm trying to imagine what is the point of this i mean they probably thought mythy didn't he, he failed to bring the team together the team is not cohesive. True. He also is supposed to, in a lot of people's minds, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but in a lot of people's minds, he's supposed to be the deciding factor in draft. Obviously, the deciding factor in draft is the players and what they're comfortable playing sometimes. And sometimes it's the coach to put it all together and to draft well. Um... It, it's it's becoming more and more on the coach in my opinion because that's just kind of like the nature of that, like the hierarchy between like coaches and players and the way that it happens in business. Um, it's not ninety percent the coach. I would say maybe between coach and players, it's kind of sixty forty. Um, the coach being sixty, the players being forty, because. You are always in communication with your players and your players will tell you, I can't play this. I hate this matchup. If I, if you lock me in this matchup, I'm going to carry. If you lock in this matchup for me, I'm not comfortable. I'm not going to play well. You know, I'm scared of this player on this champion. All that stuff, all that input, the coach needs to like figure out what's the noise and what's the important pieces and put it all together and make a cohesive draft in the end. But, you know, I've been a part of a lot of teams and I think like the players have a huge part to play in, in draft. I mean, just think about it. If somebody says, hey, if, if you pick me, you know, APA says, you know, first pick Ziggs, I'm going to carry. Then that's really hard not to listen. And, and on the inverse, if you say like, oh, if you give them this champion and I'm playing, you know, I'm playing Renekton or I'm playing Varus into this matchup, like I hate this matchup. I suck at this matchup. Your coach is going to take that in consideration and like bend the draft to what the players are comfortable with. So I just think, hold on one sec. Let me fix my bans or whatever. Actually, I don't really care what I'm banning. Um, I, I think the, the drafts that they had in playoffs, yeah. They were bad. The first one was actually not too bad. I did not really like this one. I'm not a huge fan. I don't know what's happening in scrims, but I'm not a huge fan of Senna Tom Kench, and I'm I'm especially not a huge fan of Berserker playing Senna. I don't know why. Berserker is not that kind of player. Like he's he's kind of like the main carry kind of player and when he plays something like this he doesn't perform as well i would say the bot lanes and lcs that play senna tom kench really well are like um i mean it's always been fbi it's pretty much always been fbi is very good at playing it because he doesn't play like that hard carry style he just like fbi to me is a kind of player who like does a lot with a little um he's good in lane he's just a solid player and it, given a lot of resources he's not gonna 1v5 given a little bit of resources he's kind of still happy if that makes sense like he's like kind of indifferent to what happens to the game he's playing his own game that's why i think that's what i think it fits him really well i feel like berserker is totally the opposite giving him a lot of resources he's gonna carry if berserker is behind i almost never see him performing super well um and yeah that's doesn't really fit him super well let's see the last game i hated this one lushinami karma just ff like this is reportable, I, I think. I, I think it's absolutely reportable to be picking 
Lucian Nami Karma bot side. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Like just zero CC, zero fighting power type of combo that gets completely countered by Vi. Like not even good against six. I hated it, hated it. So yeah, that's why I thought, uh, I guess I'm not all that surprised if that makes sense that, uh, that Mithy got let go.